Gutierrez. Junior co-captain, Jalissa Hernandez. Junior Lieutenant Colonel, Zariah Hill. Junior Madison Jones. Junior Janaya King. Sophomore Jalen LaPointe. Freshman Madison Lemons. Junior co captain. Isabella Lindley. Freshman, Madeline Lindley. Junior, Liliana Lopez. Junior, All-American, Colonel, JC Luna. Sophomore, Michaela Martinez. Sophomore, Misha Martinez. Sophomore, Kimberly Pena. Junior manager, Jason Havinka. Assistant coach is Shirley Silgato. And the head coach is Alpalnia Campbell. The Brazosport. Varsity cheerleaders. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is our pride and joy to introduce once again your 2023-24 Iowa Colony Varsity Cheerleaders. Freshman All-American, Asia White. Sophomore, Kazea Fleming. Sophomore, Naya Taylor. Sophomore, Addison Nunez. Sophomore, All-American nominee and co-captain, Jada Braun. Junior, All-American nominee, Makaya Posey. Junior Cameron Boatner. Junior Mallory Zambrano. All-American nominee Junior Emma Parker. Junior All-American cheerleader and co-captain. Ronice Chase. Junior All-American cheerleader and captain, Destiny Mays. And last but certainly not least, let's hear it for your All-American mascot, Blaze. Head coach of the Iowa Colony Varsity Cheerleaders is Elizabeth Virgil. She is assisted by Gabriel Nunez, and the manager is Allison Gordon. Your 2023-24 Iowa Colony Varsity Cheerleaders. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please give it up for both the Brazosport and Iowa Colony Cheerleaders. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here once again to Freedom Field for tonight's game featuring the visiting Brazosport High School exporters and your Iowa Colony Pioneers. Tonight's game will be directed according to the rules and regulations of the University Interscholastic League. Regardless of the outcome of tonight's game, all the players you will witness have proven their willingness to work and sacrifice in order to achieve athletic excellence. 
as a spectator. Consider the time and effort each of these teams and effort they have put in place. But cheer these young athletes, applaud them, but do not do any of your actions cause them to doubt the value of athletics. By your behavior tonight, allow them to feel pride in their communities and school. While your sportsmanlike actions may play only a small part in the outcome of tonight's game, it plays a greater role in continuing to encourage competitive athletics. We also ask you to show your appreciation for all students who will be taking part indirectly in tonight's game, including our cheerleaders, bands, drill teams, and the students who support their teams at home and away. Tonight's officials for the game have been mutually agreed upon by representatives from each school. Without the refined skill and understanding of the game of football, tonight's contest would not be possible. On behalf of all of us here at Alvin Independent School District, we thank you as always for your support of athletics, and we hope you enjoy tonight's game. At this time, please rise and join with the Brazosport High School Marching Band for the playing of the Brazosport High School Song. Now please rise and join the Iowa Colony High School Marching Band for the playing of the Iowa Colony School Song.
Ladies and gentlemen, please turn attention to the video board for an announcement from our superintendent here at Alvin Independent School District, Carol Nelson. wonderful district. We are home to over 29,000 students and our 4,000 employees serve each student every day. As we showcase our athletics and fine arts programs this evening, let us remember to model good sportsmanship as we support our students and staff. Thank you to our award-winning Region 5 Athletic Director of the Year, Coach Mike Bass and his staff for creating such a wonderful environment for all of us to enjoy. Now, are you ready for some football? Go long, Coach.
Testing one, two. Welcome to the field. They are your Iowa Colony Pioneers. Welcome to the field across the way. They are the Brazosport Exporters. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us at this time in observing a moment of silence in the spirit of tonight's competition. At this time, let us all remember and acknowledge the prevailing sense of fair play of all players, coaches, parents, officials, and spectators involved here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we ask that you please rise and remove your hats for the presentation of our nation's colors. Tonight's colors are provided by the Alvin Independent School District Marine Corps Junior ROTC. And now with our national anthem here tonight, the Iowa Colony Varsity Treble Choir under the direction of Kevin Schultz.
Captains will meet at midfield for tonight's coin toss. For the Brazosport exporters, here are your captains. Number one, Clifton White. Number three, Manny Williams. Number eight, Caden Shoemake. Number nine, Tort Goins. Now for your pioneers, captains are number five, Landry Ward. Number 11, Hayden Caston. Number 50, Tyson Windham. And number 90, Chris Johnson. Al McCollin, won the toss. Lick to the fur. Brazil Sport, we're received. Iowa Colony won the toss, and they will defer to the second half. The Brazil Sport exporters will receive the football to begin the first quarter of play. And tonight here at Freedom Field, we've got the host of the 93Q Morning Show working our concession stand area. So make sure you come down and visit the host of 93Q's Morning Show down in our concession stand here tonight. Erica Rico and Riggs also down there in the concessions tonight. Make sure you join us tonight and take advantage of the great concessions we have here at Freedom Field during your time here with us. Number 10's kickoff will go into the end zone for a touchback. Be brought out to the 25, or it'll be first and 10 for the exporters. Hinton's pass is complete out to number 13, Joshua Barkley. That play will lose four yards, brings up second and 14.
Quarterback's going to tuck it in and be sacked at the line of scrimmage. We'll credit number 33, Bruce Robinson the third with the tackle. Brings up fourth and 10 in the punting situation for the exporters. Number eight, Shoemake getting set to punt. It was number five, Landrew Ward on the return. Flag is down. Face mask, defense, 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. Face mask was the call against the exporters. That'll take the ball to the Brazos Port, 25, first and 10. Pioneers. Number eight, Carson White. Quarterback on the keeper will take it five yards to the 20. Tackle by number 24, Shermake Francis. Second and five, Pioneers. White's pass intended for Ward will fall incomplete. Combining on the coverage was number three, Williams, and number six, Galloway. I'll leave a third and five for the Pioneers. Tenor on the toss play, four yards to the 16. Tackle by number 23, Makai Walton. Gonna bring up fourth and a yard for your Pioneers. Carson wide on the quarterback sneak will take it inside the 15 down to the 12. Correction going to be at the 13. That is enough for the very first I see. First down. White's pass, 13 yards into the end zone. Touchdown, Pioneers. It was number five, Landrew Ward on the reception for the score. Again, Andy Cruz in to attempt the point after Ward holding. And the point after is up. And it is good. 8.07 to go in your first quarter here at Freedom Field with your new score, 7-0. Iowa Colony Pioneers. The cook starts in the early morning hours. 
days of preparation, years of experience, heritage, science, and the best ingredients result in mouth-watering barbecue. Old Bucks uses post oak straight from Central Texas to smoke prime briskets, ribs, and homemade craft sausage to perfection. Visit them on Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to sell out. Old Bucks Barbecue, serving the Manville community since 2008. Tonight's Press Box food sponsor and proud supporter of Alvin ISD Athletics. Number 10, Andy Cruz getting set to kick off for the Pioneers. Back deep to receive is going to be number nine, Goins, and number three, Williams for the exporters. Cruz kickoff will go into the end zone for a touchback. Ball will be brought out to the 25, first and 10, exporters. Number nine, Tariq Goins with a nice run on the quarterback keeper across the 40 to the 43. He has enough for a Brazos Port first down. Nine, Tariq Goins on the keeper will be gobbled up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. That'll bring up a second and ten for the exporters. Once again, it is number nine, Goings, on the quarterback keeper across the 45, up near the 47-yard line. Going to be met there by number 32, Adrian Porter, Jr. And ladies and gentlemen, that will bring up third down for the exporters. Pass intended for number two, Leo Brown will fall incomplete. That'll bring up fourth and six and a punting situation for the exporters and will come number eight, Caden Shoemake getting set. Shoemaker's punts will take a exporter bounce out of bound at the 20. And that's where Iowa Colony will have the football first and 10.
Number three, Antoine Martin Jr. on the end round will take it across at 25 near the 30. And he's gonna have enough for another I see first down. This first down is brought to you by Valdez Law Firm. Pass was complete to number two, Jacoby Miles. He's gonna be quickly brought down by number 23, Makai Walton. Play will gain about a yard and will bring up second and nine. Aaron Tenner on the give will fight for a yard gain near the 32. Credit number 22, Jamar White with a tackle. And ladies and gentlemen, that will bring up third down and eight for the Pioneers. Pass was intended for number 88. Cameron Serial falls incomplete. It will come number 33, Bruce Robinson, the third, getting set to punt. Owens back deep to receive. Pioneer punt will be down at the 35. That's where the Brazos Port exporters have the football first and 10. Number 15, Hinton's pass is complete to number six, Trey Galloway. He's gonna take the football into Pioneer territory, finally brought down at the 42, first and 10 for the exporters. Leo Brown, the ball carrier, is going to be cobbled up in the backfield by number 30, Kenneth James. No gain on the play, brings up second and 10. Leo Brown straight ahead on the give will fight for a four yard gain inside the 40 to the 38. First man there for the Pioneers was 33, Bruce Robinson the third. And that'll leave a third and six for the exporters.
pass is intercepted on the play. Number 21, Darren Brown with the INT. First and 10, Pioneers. Carson White, the quarterback on the keeper, will take it across the 35, up near the 37-yard line. It's going to be a gain of about four yards. Number 24, Aaron Tenner on the give across the 40, up near the 42, on a gain of five yards on the play. Tackle is by number eight, Caden Shoemake. And that's gonna leave a third and two for the Pioneers. Carson White on the keeper. will roll it across the 40 inside to the 37. Hits another. I see. First down. This first down is brought to you by the Valdez Law Firm. Tenner on the give, fighting for yardage inside the 35, near the 33. And a credit number 75, Max Rodriguez with a tackle. We'll call it a gain of four, brings up second and six. Carson White on the keeper inside the 25. That'll be enough for another I see first down. This first down is brought to you by the Valdez Law Firm. Start the fight. And we'll do it for your first quarter here at Freedom Field. After one, the score, 7-0, Iowa Colony. Thinking about college? Well, if you're ready to learn new skills, try a new career, or get on the path to achieve your ambitions, experience Alvin Community College, where you can go from enrolled to employed, classroom to career, and potential to purpose. With some of the region's best instructors, facilities, and programs, you can make the most of every opportunity. So come learn where you belong by making ACC your college right now. As we begin the second quarter, first and 10, Iowa Colony at the exporter, 24.
Pass intended for number 80, Will Terry, will fall incomplete. Wide's pass, complete number two, Jacody Miles says that's mine. Touchdown, Pioneers. Number 31, Isaiah Rodriguez, point after attempt is up and good, and you have a new score here with 11.46 to go in your first half at Freedom Field. It's now 14-0, Iowa Colony Pioneers. Number 10, Andy Cruz getting set to kick off once again for the Pioneers. Back deep, going to be number nine, Tariq Goins. Number three, Manny Williams. was number three, Williams on the return. He'll take it out across the 10 and is buried there. Exporters will have the football there, first and 10. Number 15, Cameron Hinton's pass is complete. Number 14, Demarius Davidson. Tackle combining was 33. Bruce Robinson in 23. O'Neill. Maybe a yard gain on the play brings up second down. Hinton, quarterback, will tuck in the football on a gain of about two yards. We'll credit number 23, Treshawn O'Neal, with a tackle. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to bring up a third and eight for the exporters.
Hidden's pass will fall incomplete. It was number seven, Solomon, on the coverage. We'll bring up fourth and eight in a punting situation for the Brownsport exporters. Back will go number five, Landry Ward, to receive. But we'll be down at the midfield stripe where your Iowa Colony Pioneers will have it first and 10. Jaden Warren on the reception will take it inside the 45 to the 44. Well, credit number 23, Makai Walton with a tackle. Second and four for the Pioneers. Pass was complete to number two, Miles. Inside the 43 to the 42. It'll be Shermack Francis with the tackle. Number 24, Aaron Tenner on the give inside the 31 to the 30. And it's another I see first down. Number three in the end zone. Give them six. Touchdown, Pioneers. It was number three, Antoine Martin with the score. Cruz with the point after attempt is up and good. 829 remains in your first half. It's now 21-0. Iowa Colony Pioneers. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Cruz getting set to kick off. Manny Williams and Tariq Goins back deep to receive. Kickoff will go out of bounds. Flag is down.
Legal kick out of bounds. Number 10, kick the team. Five yard penalty, first down. It was number two, Brown, the ball carrier. Only one yard gain to the 31. Combining on the stop was number 30, Kenneth James, and number 15, Henry Kalu. Second and nine for the exporters. Number nine, Tariq Goins will lower his shoulder out across the 35 up near the 38 yard line. Stop credited to number 23, Treshawn O'Neill. Gonna leave a third and two for the exporters. Number nine, Tariq Goins will take the football across the 40 to the 41 and has uh, Brown's port first down. Number nine, Tariq Goins, fighting hard to get the football up near the midfield stripe. He's gonna have a gain of nine yards. Legal formation, offense. Five men in backfield. How y'all feeling? Man, third down. Officials time. Cohen's pass intended for number two, White will fall incomplete. Correction to Leo Brown.
second and 15 for the exporters. Tariq Goins on a four yard gain to the 40. Body on the stop was Kenneth James, number 30 and 90, Chris Johnson. Third and 11 for the Brazosport Exporters. Tariq Goins, the quarterback, will tuck it in and be tackled in the backfield for a loss. Number 30, Kenneth James, the first man there. Also with the help of number 11, Hayden Caston. That'll bring up fourth down and a punting situation. It will come number eight, Caden Shoemake getting set to punt. It'll be number five, Landrew Ward, the deep man for the Pioneers. Flag is down. Running on to the kicker, number 15. That'd be a five-yard penalty from the end of the run, first down. The five yard penalty will take the Pioneers back inside the 15 to the 14 yard line, first and 10. Number two, Jacody Miles. Turning on the afterburners and taking it into exporter territory. He'll have it all the way to the 36, and it's another I C first down. Cody Miles once again running with the football inside the 25 to the 23. It's another I see first down. Pass. 
pass is complete into the end zone. Give them six. Touchdown, Pioneers. It was number three, Antoine Martin Jr. with the score. Rodriguez point after tip is up and good. 3-33 remains in your first half. And it's now 28-0. Iowa Colony Pioneers. College? Well, if you're ready to achieve your ambitions, experience Elvin Community College and go from enrolled to employed classroom to career, and potential to purpose. Come learn where you belong by making ACC your college. It was number one, Clifton White on the return. Out across C-10, brought down at the 12-yard line. Number two, Leo Brown, the ball carrier out across the 15 near the 17 yard line. Credit the tackle to number 11, Hayden Caston. Second and five for the exporters. Number one, Clifton White, the ball carrier, across the 23. And he will have enough for Brazosport exporters, first down. Leo Brown, the ball carrier, going to be hit and dropped by number 11, Hayden Caston. No gain on the play, brings up second and 10.
Number 21, Darren Brown with the interception, and it'll be Pioneer football. Pass is complete to number two, Jacody Miles, eluding tacklers inside the 25 to the 21. Another I see first down. This first down is brought to you by the Valdez Law Firm. Pass was intended for number five, Len Drew Ward, going to fall incomplete. White's pass complete to number two, Jacody Miles. Inside the 20, near the 17. Give it a gain of about five yards. Brings up third and five. Pass will be intercepted on the play. No, incomplete. Brings up a fourth and five. In will come number 10, Andy Cruz, getting set to attempt the 34-yard field goal. That kick is up, and it is good! With 36 seconds to go here in your first half, it's now Iowa Colony 31, Francis Port 0. Days of preparation, years of experience, heritage, science, and the best ingredients result in mouth-watering barbecue. Old Bucks uses post oak straight from Central Texas to smoke prime briskets, ribs, and homemade craft sausage to perfection. Visit them on Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to sell out. Old Bucks Barbecue, serving the Manville community since 2008. Tonight's Press Box food sponsor and proud supporter of Alvin ISD Athletics. It was number three, Manny Williams, with a nice run back out across the 30.
And that's where the Brazos Port Exporters have the football, first and 10. Pass was intended for number nine. Tariq Goins falls incomplete. Number two, Leo Brown, the ball carrier. Straight ahead on the yard gain on the play. And that is the final play of your first half at the break. It is 31-0, Iowa Colony Pioneers. Coming up, halftime entertainment from the Brazosport Exporter Band and the Iowa Colony Marching Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Brazosport High School Shipmates. The Shipmates are under the direction of Katie Trailer.
Your 2023-2024 Shipmate Military Officer line is Admiral Haley Myers, Captain Ashlyn Castaneda, Commander Layla Tobias, Senior Lieutenant Zoe Simpson, Lieutenant Marissa Nino, and Lieutenant Caitlin Thompson. Your social officer line is social, Giselle Castillo, Kaylin Hurd, Inaya Green, and Lily Tobias. The team has voted and your spirit girl of the week is Marissa Nino. And our shipmate of the week is Zoe Campbell. The shipmates will be performing to Timber, played by the Exporter Band. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brazosport Shipmates. Ladies and gentlemen, now taking the field for your pre, uh, for your halftime entertainment is the pride of Brazosport, the Exporter Band. The band is under the direction of Dennis Boucher, Richard Schutze, Shane Rutherford, Thomas Brown, and Grace Boucher. The drum majors for the band are assistant drum majors Brooklyn Colbert and Camilla Andujo. Head drum major for the band is Isabella Amador. Tonight, the band will be performing their UIL show entitled Rain. Show music tonight will include Rain Part 1 with soloist Madison Jones, Rain Part 2 with soloist Omar Vega, and Rain Part 3 with soloist Madison Jones and Miranda Zapeda, and Rain Part 4. Drum majors Isabella Amador, Camilla Andujo, and Brooklyn Colbert. Is your band ready? Ladies and gentlemen, the Exporter Band.
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in one more round of applause for the Brazosport Shipmates and the Exporter Band. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Join me in welcoming the Iowa Colony Legends. The legends are under the direction of Brittany Lane and Tiffany Minix. The legends are led onto the field by Legend Lieutenant Jalen Broom and Legend First Lieutenant Amari Smith. Legend Social Historian is Vivian Aguillon. Legend Social Treasurer, Mia Garcia. Legend Social Secretary, Giselle Burdick. Legend Social Vice President, Lyric Mott. Legend Social President, Zoe Brown. Legend Spirit Girl of the Week is Addison Gonzalez. And JB Legend of the Week is Iris Kelly. The Legends would like to thank our Teacher of the Week, Mrs. Mejia, for her dedication to the pioneer spirit. And now, prepare to be entertained with an energetic palm routine to BTS Butter!
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The faculty, staff, and students of Iowa Colony High School welcome you to the 2023 Homecoming Halftime Festivities. We are thrilled to announce this year's Homecoming Court. These outstanding individuals represent a, the very essence of our school spirit and community. Please direct your attention to the 50-yard line for our Homecoming Court presentation. First up, let's give a big round of applause for our freshman Lord and Lady, Benjamin Canchola and Hilary Nietes Guerin. They may be new to the scene, but they already have made a significant impact in their short time here. Hillary is the daughter of Shane and Maria Guerin. Hillary is on our track team and is a member of the Iowa Colony High School Band. Someone that motivates her is her best friend, Arena Nay, because she is always there for her with, when there isn't anybody else, and she is always seeing the light in things. When asked about her favorite memory at Iowa Colony High School, Hillary said she is able to see her friends from elementary school again. Lord Benjamin Canchola is the son of Mark and Elizabeth Canchola. Ben is a part of our varsity cross country team. When asked what does he do outside of the walls of Iowa Colony High School, Ben states, as an athlete, one of my favorite things to do is run. Running has helped me build the essential character strengths such as hard work, determination, and an open mind. Someone that motivates him to do better is Jesus. Psalms 119.105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What this means to him is that his reliance on God's word is the only way to successfully live as a Christian. Next, let's honor our sophomore Duke and Duchess, Donald Wynn and Mariah Samarco. These students are growing into their roles as leaders to make an even bigger mark on our school in the years to come. Mariah is the daughter of Martin Samarco and Kiera Claver. Mariah runs cross country, track and field, and she is also a member of the student council. When asked three words to describe herself, she said, ambitious, athletic, and driven. Mariah plans to continue building school pride by staying involved in things such as cross country, track, student council, volunteering at school and community events, and by continuing to be a good example for her fellow classmates. Donald Wynn, or as we call him, Ducky, is the son of Donald and Carita Wynn. Donald is on our football and track teams. He is also a part of our New Ground Theater crew. When asked who motivates him and why, Donald says it's his parents because no matter what challenges they are faced, they never complain. Outside of school, Ducky's favorite thing to do is sleep. Now please join me in welcoming our junior prince and princess, Hayden Caston and Kendall Danae Johnson. These upperclassmen have shown dedication, involvement, and commitment to our school and its values. They are true role models for our underclassmen. Kendall Johnson is the daughter of Lakeisha Graves and Trevino Johnson. Kendall is one of our student athletic trainers and is also a part of our yearbook staff. When asked for three words that describe her, she said charismatic, energetic, and full loving. At Iowa Colony, Ken Kendall says we are truly a family. We experience this bond with our football team weekly as we cheer them on to victory. My most sentimental and heartwarming moment would be the tragic incident with one of our football players, number six. Kendall loved how everyone came together and it felt like family. Hayden Caston is the son of Hanson Caston and Arlethea Simon. Hayden is on our football, basketball, and track teams. His favorite thing to do outside of school is to hang out with his friends and go to college football games. When asked three words that describe him, he said athletic, intelligent, and chill. 
So let's give one final round of applause for our homecoming court 2023. Thank you for representing the best of our school and may the festivities continue as we cheer on our team in the second half of this game. Thank you so much to our entire court and our fans that are here tonight.
Number 14, Jeremy Garner the second on the return will take it out across the 40 to the 43. We'll credit number eight, Caden Shoemake with a tackle. First and 10, Iowa Colony. Number five, Landry Ward will back his way across the midfield stripe to the 49 on a gain of eight yards. Trevor Johnson with a tackle for the exporters. Second and two, Pioneers. Number 24, Aaron Tenner on the give will find yardage inside the 35 to the 32. It's enough for an IC first down. This first down is brought to you by a Valdez Law Firm. Aaron Tenner on a run inside the 30 to the 25. The gain of about seven yards. Tackle by 24, Shermark Francis. The break, Carson White, the quarterback on the keeper, will take it to the 22. Officials time, official time. Official, time. Right, official timeout. And that'll be enough for an IC first down. Aaron Tenner on the give, fighting for yardage inside the 15, out of bounds at the 14-yard line. He was pushed out of bounds by number one, Clifton White, for the exporters. It'll be a gain of about seven yards, brings up second and three. Carson White's pass complete the number 81, Jaden Warren, 14 yards, give him six. Touchdown, Pioneers. Number 10, Andy Cruz in to attempt the point after for the Pioneers.
And the point after is up and good. 9.38 remains here in your third quarter with your score, 38-0, Iowa Colony Pioneers. Thinking about college? Well, if you're ready to learn new skills, try a new career, or get on the path to achieve your ambitions, experience Alvin Community College, where you can go from enrolled to employed, classroom to career, and potential to purpose. With some of the region's best instructors, facilities, and programs, you can make the most of every opportunity. So come learn where you belong by making ACC your college right now. Number three, Manny Williams on the return. We'll take it out across the 30. Going to be slung down by 41, Xavier Montana. Number 15, Cameron Hinton going to be sacked in the backfield by number 15, Henry Kalu. Number two, Leo Brown, the ball carrier. Will be taken down for a loss in the backfield by number 30, Kenneth James. Gonna bring up a third and 17 for the exporters. Quarterback is going to be sacked on the play Biting on that sack once again, it's number 15 Henry Kalu and number 30 Kenneth James Back deep for the pioneers number five Landrew Ward Number five, Landrew Ward will drag a tackler across the 40 inside near the 39. It was number five, Darion Ramsey with a tackle. First and 10, Iowa Colony.
Aaron Tenney with a nice run inside the 20, out of bounds at the 17. It's another I see first down. Foul start, number 56, five yard penalty, second down. The right Carson White will tuck in the football on the keeper, roll inside the 10 down to the six yard line. Bonding on the stop was number five, De'Aaron Ramsey and number 30. And it'll be first and goal to go for the Pioneers. Aaron Tenner will take it in. Touchdown, Pioneers. Rodriguez point after tip is up and it is good. 538 to go on your third quarter. It's now 45-0, Iowa Colony. The world leading hospital could also be your neighborhood doctor's office. With Houston Methodist, it is. Our primary care physicians invest time in your visit so you're seen and heard virtually and in person at locations across the city. And we're always ready to connect you with our network of top specialists. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading. Leo Brown on the return out across the 20. Gonna be tackled by 42, Xavier Smith. And Brownsport has the football first and 10.
Pass was complete to number two, Leo Brown. He's going to be tackled in the backfield by number 11, Hayden Caston. It was number two, Brown, the ball carrier. He is going to be met in the backfield. It was number 14, Jeremy Garner, the second with a tackle. Third and 14. Football fans, the Iowa Colony Pioneers would like to thank Joe's Barbecue for providing out. wonderful press box meals for tonight's game. Thanks First again to Alvarez, Dick's Vision, Survey Second One Incorporated, and Cameron Recycling, all proud sponsors of Pioneer Football. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, please make sure you stay around after the game for fifth quarter as the Iowa Colony Band and Guard will be performing their award-winning competition program. Number 15, Cameron Hinton, the quarterback, will tuck in the football across the 27 to the 28-yard line. Hiding on the stop was 42, Smith, and 51, Swinney. That punt will take an exporter roll inside the 35, out of bounds at the 33, where the Pioneers will have it first and 10. Number 22, Derek Kahn, the second. Running back on the carry. We'll take it up near the 40 on a gain of six yards. Like that seven brings up second and three. Once again, it's on the ball carrier. Across the 41, near the 42, on a gain of two yards. Going to bring up third and a yard for the Pioneers. Back on the previous play, number five, De'Arion Ramsey.
On straight ahead on the give, fighting for yardage near the 44. Make it the 45, and he will have enough for another IC first down. Pass is complete to number 80, Will Terry. Tight end will take the football to the 45 and another IC first down. Derek Hahn, the ball carrier, inside the 45 to the 43 on a gain of two yards. Number 22, Hahn, the ball carrier, inside the 40, down to the 36. Credit number four, 24, Shamark Francis with a tackle. Third and a yard for the Pioneers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the final play in your third quarter here at Freedom Field after three year score 45 0. Pioneers. The cook starts in the early morning hours, days of preparation, years of experience, heritage, science, and the best ingredients result in mouth watering barbecue. Old Bucks uses post oak straight from Central Texas to smoke prime briskets, ribs, and homemade craft sausage to perfection. Visit them on Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to sell out. Old Bucks Barbecue, serving the Manville community since 2008. Tonight's Press Box food sponsor and proud supporter of Alvin ISD Athletics. On the ball, carrier going to be hit at the line of scrimmage, met there by number five, Darion Ramsey. Play will lose a yard, brings up second and 11. Pass is complete to number 88, Cameron Serial. Inside the 20 to the 19. 
Combining on the tackle, number three, Williams, and number eight, Shoemake. Leave a third and about three for the Pioneers. It was number 22, Hahn. He's going to be tripped up in the backfield by number six, Trey Galloway for the exporters. Cruz in for the 37 yarder. That kick is up and it is good. 9.43 to go in regulation with your new score here at Freedom Field. Well, if you're ready to achieve your ambitions, experience Elvin Community College and go from enrolled to employed, classroom to career, and potential to purpose. Come learn where you belong by making ACC your... Cruz kickoff will go into the end zone for a touchback. Be brought out to the 25, first and 10 for the exporters. Number two, Leo Brown, the ball carrier. On a four yard gain to the 29. Number 15, Cameron Hinton's pass complete number nine, Tariq Goins into Pioneer territory. Going to be brought down at the 32, but it is a Brazos Ford Exporters first down. Once again, it's Hinton to Goins inside the 30 near the 27. The 
Bonnie on the stop was number seven, Jarvis Solomon, and number 12, Chandler Love. Number two, Leo Brown on the give, fighting for positive yards inside the 25, down near the 22. And he will have enough for another Brazosport exporter first down. Number two, Leo Brown on the reception. Inside the 20 and out of bounds at the 17. Pushed out of bounds by number 41, Montana. Brown going to recover the fumble. And that'll bring up a third and six. Ends pass, complete number 14, Demarius Davidson. He'll be hemmed in there by the Pioneer defense. Leading the charge was number 32, Adrian Porter Jr. Gonna leave a fourth and about four for the exporters. Sentence pass intended for number six, Trey Galloway, will fall incomplete. And the ball will turn over on downs to the Pioneers. It was number 22, Han, the ball carrier, on a four-yard gain. Once again, it's Han, ball carrier. This time, going to be hit and dropped in the backfield by zero. Trevor Johnson for the exporters.
pass is going to be incomplete. Den of number 16, Wyatt Hanley. And on the coverage, breaking up the pass was number 23, Makai Walton. Brings up fourth down in a punting situation. In will come number 33, Bruce Robinson, the third, getting set to punt. And it will be number three, Manny Williams, back deep to receive. Number nine, Tariq Goins. 53 yards, touchdown, exporters. One after attempt is up and it is good for the exporters. 427 to go in regulation with your new score, 48-7, Iowa Colony. Number 22, Hahn, carrying the football in across the 45. Duckle by number 12, Josh Diaz. Be a gain of six yards, brings up second and four.
Number 22, Hahn, carrying the football. Across the midfield stripe. Retackle by number 10 for the exporters. Number 92, running with the football, Joseph Mosley has enough for another IC first down. Number 92, Mosley running with the football. Going to be met by number 72, Jeremiah Hicks for the exporters. Gains two yards, brings up second down. Number 92, Joseph Mosley rumbling inside the 15, out of bounds at the 14. Please be safe as you make your way out of Freedom Field and on your way home. And always thank you for your support of Alvin ISD Athletics and your Iowa Colony Pioneers. Good night, everybody. Folks, don't forget, stick around. It's fifth quarter beginning now as we will get to see once again the competition program of your Iowa Colony Pioneer marching band.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to welcome you to your post game with Alvin ISD's Iowa Colony High School Pioneer Band and Guard. Drum majors for the Pioneer Band are Haley Robinson and Emily Meyer. Tonight, we will perform our 2023 UIL contest show titled Shimmer and Shake. Flute soloist is Haley Robinson. Alto saxophone soloist is Grant Collins. Horn soloist is Nicholas Nino de Rivera. Guard soloists are Emma Sherez, Celine Morales, and Bailey Mayton. We hope you enjoy our show. Tomorrow, your Iowa Colony Band and Guard will travel to Edna to compete in the Edna Invitational Marching Contest. Your 2023 band sponsor is Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. The band will compete in the 2023 UIL Regionals competition next Thursday, October 12th, right here at Freedom Field at 4.45 p.m. We hope you come out and join all the bands in our area coming to compete at Regionals that day. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the band is here to entertain you with their show, Shimmer and Shake.
Thank you for your kind attention. Let's hear it one more time for your Iowa Colony High School Band and Guard. Band directors for the Iowa Colony Band are Tim Pallone and Tyler Burkham. Color Guard director is Tatiana Higgins. 